Have you been single for a while before this? I have. Yeah, actually, you know, dating in the Philippines is very tough. And, you know, it, you, you get confused, like, what are the intentions? What do they want out of it? Also, for the longest time, like, I was in public about my sexuality. So it was it was very difficult. Obviously, I was I was dating people quietly. But yeah, I was single for a long time before coming here. Why is it difficult to date Men. Is it just men or just in yes, general men. anyone? No, just, yeah. <laughs> She's like, we hate men. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, why is it difficult to date men in Manila in the Philippines? Well, in the gay culture. Be careful what you um, say. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I don't know that how to answer that. I think it's different case to case. I mean, yeah, I have yeah. friends that, you know, are in relationships and they're very happy. Um, I don't know if I'm just like extra choosy or extra picky or also maybe I wasn't ready, yeah. you know, yeah. so maybe yeah. it was it was that like maybe I just wanted to have fun or And yeah. being like an outsider and being very close to Mond, I was able to see his journey and Mond is a very worldly person and it's not so much like a Filipino thing You have to find someone that's the same wavelength as you yeah. that enjoys the same thing traveling and yeah. and I think that you know, in Manila, we have great men, but we have different love languages. Ooh, like great men. <laughs> <laughs> Half great men. Yeah, and I think, like, it's hard to discover yourself in the Philippines. Yeah. And I think you really came out of your shell here in L.A. Yeah, and I think you're right. I think in Manila, there's, you know, one little thing you do, people kind of talk about it. It kind of gave me the freedom here to just, like, figure it out on my own, learn about myself and be private and that's what i liked what is the difference of dating filipino men versus <laughs> foreigner men well i'm the worst thing. to answer that because i actually haven't dated a lot of filipino men <laughs> <laughs> oh, I damn i haven't oh, yeah. yeah so most most of them are are actually foreign and then you said you were in the closet for most of the time. Maybe that was why it was hard to date because people didn't know you were open to dating in the Philippines. Probably. Yeah. Actually, yeah. They didn't know how to approach it because it's like, okay, what are you? You know, but the people closest to me, my friends and yeah, everyone kind of knew and I was open to them, but I wasn't like, you know, out there trying to look for a boyfriend when I'm out. You know what I mean? It was, I just really enjoy the company of my friends and yeah. especially because I am an investor in the nightclubs in the Philippines. Yeah. I go out because it is a business and at the same time, I just like to have a good time with my friends. The most common thing also was like people were so intimidated by him. I heard like, that. Yeah, I heard that. I keep hearing that word. Bro, I was in intimidated by you. Really? Yeah. This was off the podcast but me and Moan went back and we we're talking about when we kind of first met because I was just a commercial model I wasn't oh, I didn't yeah, have a following yeah. yeah my perception of Moan was he was the guy that got all the models in the club so I would be with all my model <laughs> friends he'd be like and they, and they got the connect they got Moan he was like oh yeah no Moan Moan will get us in you know like I'm gonna message Moan what's going down tonight so and then whenever we walk in a club like you were always with the celebrities like he has all the celebrities around him and he has like really nice alcohol and everything so I never spoke to you because I think I was just so intimidated by you it was always just like hi I'm here with like the model friends that you invited you know, I think and that's stuff. just the facade that I have and a lot of people actually come up to me and say you know what I really thought you were intimidating I was scared yeah, of you in the yeah. beginning I didn't know how to talk talk to you and then when they get to know me it's a nice surprise and I like to surprise people in that way dude yeah. I love you like when yeah. we when we started hanging out in AIA yeah like you me Nico and Selene yeah. yeah it was just like you're a completely different person from this picture that I painted of you being all like intimidating and yeah. like you I think know. it's also because the photos that I post that like, I have to remind myself <laughs> <laughs> to not be so fierce in my photos and like be yeah. more friendly and stuff because a lot of people think of me that way. Like it's this like hard shell outside. But I think it's also it also comes with the territory. I grew up in show business. So I always had this like protective like outer layer for before people could get to really know me. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah. speaking of, I just realized and I I wonder if you remember this or even know this. This was during the daily vlog era. I, dude, I was just young and ignorant and I didn't know that you were not, you hadn't come out yet or yeah. anything. I just thought it was normal that, you know, you were gay and it yeah. was normal and everything. I was probably out to my friends then, but. <laughs> okay. 
But yeah, I, I, I said something. I don't know if I made a gay joke or something. It was you, me, and Selene. And like you and Selene kissed or something. Or it, you were like being really flirty with each other. And I was just oh, like, really? yeah. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, Selene, why, like, why can't we do that? You know? And I went in well, and then- so, Selene's you know, one of my best friends. Yeah. And, and Selene actually always takes me back because I do it as a joke. Like, Selene, let's do it. And she goes along, okay. And I'm like, oh no, that was a joke. <laughs> But I, and I said something like, you know those people that pretend they're gay so they could just let you know I'm gay? Is that you? And then it blew up in the comments. It was like, oh my God, Will just out and moaned and whatever else. And then I was like, wait. Yeah, really? I was just confused. I didn't, you I, didn't, didn't... I didn't even know about okay, that. Okay, good, I'm yeah. safe. I'm good, <laughs> I'm good. I didn't, I didn't know about that. But yeah, I do tend to be flirty with, with my girlfriends because <laughs> they do enjoy the attention. And I guess it's just mm -hmm. like, okay, I'll, if you enjoy the attention, I'll give it to you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 no, I think, yeah, my girlfriends really feel comfortable around me and they tend to flirt with me in public and put their arms around me, get touchy feely. Oh, so I'm like, okay, what? fine. So Excuse if you didn't know, me. Mads and I had a scandal. When was that? I, I think it's barely a scandal. Yeah, it's like a honestly, baby scandal. It was a baby scandal, but it was everywhere. Wait, yeah, I, th I think at the time. Do you, did you ever hear about no, this? Okay, listen to this. So when I was going to LA, Jacko, yeah. my manager, he goes, oh, guess moaned and, and Mads together. And I was like, <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of random for him to say that. And I was yeah. like, why? Yeah, I know they're friends, but I don't guess two people at the same time because yeah. I want it to be focused on one person. But I was like, yeah, definitely, I'll, I'll get them. And he was like, no, but do it together because they have this scandal. <laughs> And you know, I was you like, know the term? I was like, and he was like, they've never talked about like First this of all, scandal. Exclusive ng nahagip ng aming camera ang public display of affection in a Carla Humphrey sa Trimo Gutierrez. If you want the full details to this crazy scandal, then it is linked below only on Spotify for the full episode. It's free, it's easy to use, and this one's a lot of fun. You don't want to miss it.